Hello everyone, my name is Cedric Williams and I'll be getting back to this painting here. As you can see, it's been quite a journey getting this far. So um, what I would like to do is to add a bit more details into uh, the buildings here, just to um, reconstruct the areas over here to make it a bit more appealing to my eyes. Uh, I'm just going to use my very own uh, imagination with my very own twists and uh, just make it more so of a Cedric Williams, San Francisco, the visit Daryl and Green Street composition. So let's get on with it. So what I've got here, I've got a messy looking palette here and uh, just mixed up a few colors and I would like to uh, start with um, this section here. So it looks sort of a mess and then I really want to um, show more clarity. So what I'm gonna do is start with shapes. So when you use shapes, you want to use uh, more so of a flat brush. So I'm using a number two um, flat, black silver. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna kind of uh, get straight to the point here. So, as you can see, this here is taking up a lot of this, um, this section. And then I want to just kind of cut it off right over here. So when I do this, this is where I'm starting another building. Now it's time to work a little magic. What I'm gonna do here, going to be working over in this section right over now. As you can see, that's this one here. I kind of move whatever section that was over here earlier to over here because we have one long building here and it stretches. So right above this here, we have a dark shady area and I really want to make it stand out. So here's what I'm going to do. Gonna get this here um, black, which is the uh, uh, mixed color I made earlier. I'm just gonna kind of come over here, blow that up just a little bit, and make up my shape. So we're gonna come here, here. Drag it. Come here. Here. Yes. Right? And then it'll come down here. There it is. Right? Now, I'm going to be focusing on making the windows. <clears throat> To kind of complete this building and then later on I'll add some uh, details so I'm going to be getting on my knee and uh, work a little magic so we have these here windows I really would like to use another paintbrush something that's a bit more fine but still flat so that would be this one I'm going to be using this number one and I think it's going to do the job just right so there I go off to a start my palette got this here black I'm just going to start with just um, creating a line under the lid, under the roof, create your boundary, press and pull, press and pull, right, that's fine, that's your shadow line, 
and I can fix that later on. But what I'm mostly excited about is dropping in these windows. Dropping in the windows. So since all of this is dry, I can kind of touch on this. So I can kind of use my finger to have a little more control. So remember this, this was my shape that I created. Just want to darken it up just a little bit. And I'm going to start all the way over here. And then uh, this is going to be where I start my window. So we have three, six, nine, twelve before that. Three, six, nine, twelve. And then we have three over here. So if I could just look, squint a little bit. One, two, three. Just very lightly. Because later on, I'm gonna grab a smaller paintbrush and just kind of do the details later. I just want to demonstrate to you on what my plans are and what I want to uh, do here. So this section kind of um, differs from the other. So I'm going to one, two, and then three. So the thing is, I got to press a little harder than usual and drag it for more control and keep in mind this paint here is still kind of wet so I'm using wet on wet let's try it again one two three and we'll do three more so I just want to kind of stretch this out One, two, and then three. There it is, right? And then I have this section here. So this is where uh, I'm going to kind of create a, a boundary. So it's going to kind of come right down here and just draw it right across. All right, so I'll start with the windows. Then we have two bigger windows, larger windows, which would be here and the one right over there. All right. shadow under the lip of the roof so make sure to have that taken care of right nice awesome so there it is all right as you can see We've got this section over here. I want to kind of uh, drag in some windows in certain sections, and I got really creative over here. So um, I'm just going to spend a few minutes with you and uh, just kind of create some windows, and uh, I'll definitely uh, see about getting the rest of this section and so forth on for this painting. So let's get started and um, get this section taken care of. I notice we have a small window right over here. And then we have a large window. So I'm going to, again, create my shape. All right? Use the flat brushes to uh, create your squares or your rectangles um, 
let's see what else we've got. Uh, we have more windows to do here. So uh, as for these rectangular ones, I would just press and drag on down. Press, drag on down. And then we have another one right over here. Yes. Um, this window down here is much broader. And it appears we have another section up here. So I can see a bit over uh, a certain building over here we have windows coming down from there. One right here. Two more. One and two. And then I notice we have another building uh, in the midst of all of this. So what I want to do is I want to uh, put it on in there. So what I'm going to do is, again, use my most effective technique and create my shapes. That's right. So uh, I want to come up with more of a yellow ochre color and um, I'm going to brighten it up with some white and add a little red to it. So I'm using this here um, number nine and um, I'm going to grab some of this, get some of that. Blend it. I've got some of this white with a little bit of that purple. Use a little bit of this here, liquid original, to come up with this color. Uh, I really would like to add a little bit of this lemon yellow. So let me just put plenty of that on this palette and. Uh, I'll be on with the mixing. So I'll just take a smaller section at a time. Yeah, that looked like a good color. Let's add a little more yellow. Let's dig a little more into the yellow. Yeah, that looks great. So what I have here is it's going to have to come up here. And I'm just going to drag it on down. Drag it back up, drag it on down. I know it's a bit messy, but here it is. All right. So, it is, I have created my shape is more of a rectangular shape and I can even come behind here because I'd like to get the full canvas painted. That's just how I work. That's just how I work. All right. And we'll stop right over here. Stop right over here, and guess what? I'm gonna get this red and just bring it over. That's gonna be your roof. I just wanna make sure to get the foundations of these buildings. We're looking good. I just want to uh, get something out there. I like it, I like it a lot. So, here's where I cut it short for today, everyone. 
Thank you so much for your time. Why don't you go ahead and click that like button if you do like and please subscribe. Uh, there will be many more videos that I will uh, launch and uh, I'm sure to be educational for you. If you just hear me out, watch what I do, what I feel I do best, which is uh, uh, God gifted talent. Um, so if you like what you see, go ahead and click that like and subscribe and um, there you go.